Salawam, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Kadash, double honor to the apostles and those of the great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full leg scattered abroad. This is the brother you wanted to coming from the great millstone, saw great millstone West Palm back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. And I pray this lesson is edifying and the water Yahweh Bashem al Shah for this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay, because uh, again, like Isaiah the 33rd chapter, the sixth verse says, wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of our times, man. And that's the times to come. All right. And only a few is going to have that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding all right, to be able to maneuver in the times to come, man. And it's all through the Holy Spirit. All right. But through the Spirit, just meditating upon the kingdom. All right. You know, you got to be thinking about the kingdom. And that's why Matthew chapter 6 Verse 33 says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem al Shah. And that's what we got to do. We got to seek first the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, all right, whose true name is Yahweh and his son, whose true name is Yahweh Shah. And it says, in his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, so we got to be seeking the kingdom, all right, and all the things that come with the kingdom. Okay, it tells you how, um, you know, it's going to be rest. All right, no more sorrow, man. No more pain, man. Okay, it speaks about how the former thing is passed away. Okay, and that's what's going to happen, man, when we get the kingdom. All right, but we got to be seeking the kingdom. We got to be meditating upon the kingdom. All right, and that's why the scriptures speak about, you know, contending for the faith, man. All right, what is that in the book of Jude? Let me try to get that right quick. You know, this is really through the spirit, but okay, this is Jude chapter one, verse three, and it says, Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you the comp. So I'm going to read it again, Jude chapter 1, verse 3. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and to exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith, which was once delivered unto the saints. You see, so we're supposed to be what? We're supposed to be earnestly contending for the faith. All right, because what are we ultimately trying to receive? We're ultimately, tr we're ultimately trying to receive salvation, okay? You know, we, we want to be hid in the chariots, man. All right, like it tells you in Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3, man. All right, but that's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Earnestly contending for the faith, all right, seeking the kingdom of Yahweh by Shema Shah, all right, you know, desiring them new bodies, okay? Philippians, the third chapter, tells you about that. You know how... Um, let me get that right quick. Um, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, and it says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for our for our salvation. It's like it, for our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Okay, and it says, For our conversation is in heaven. What does that mean, man? All right, having... Uh, um, you know, meditating upon the kingdom, all right, having your mind occupied upon the prophecies, having your mind occupied, you know, upon uh, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, okay, not worried upon the things which we see through our eyes right now, okay, you know, Colossians, the third chapter says to seek not, the matter of fact, let me grab that right quick and we're going to jump back, okay, Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, and it says, set your affections on things above not on things on the earth. And why can't we set our affections on things on the earth, man? It says, for the uh, fashions of this world passeth away, man. All right, the things which we see before us is going to pass away, man. We're not always going to be in Babylon the Great. We're not always going to have a westernized mentality. And that's why we have to set our affections on things above, man. And, 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 and what is that? All right, desiring the kingdom, desiring them new bodies, okay? Desiring a kingdom filled with righteousness, that's why the scriptures speak about how we look for a new heaven and a new earth, all right? And that's not ultimately going into a new earth or a new heaven, okay? Because Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, tells you, um, Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, tells you what? How one generation passed and another, you know, I don't want to roughly paraphrase no scriptures in this lesson. Let me try to get everything. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. You see, so we are hoping or we are seeking that new earth, which is going to be that next generation. All right. It says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. So we're ultimately seeking the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. 
which is going to be primarily or it's going to not primarily it's ultimately going to be for the Israelites starting off with the elect all right you know Yahweh Shah I mean the heavenly father Yahweh Yahweh Shah King David all right the 144 you know so okay let's go back to Philippians chapter 3 again, verse uh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, it says, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who shall, who shall change our vile body. Right? We in these vile bodies, man. Okay? We got to experience death. All right? You know, we in hell. Okay? We can't do the things we want to do. You know, your body has ailments. Okay? You know, we in these vile bodies, man. So we're seeking, you know, we're patiently waiting for you. How we're patiently waiting for you. How are you? How was to change us? It says in a twinkling, in a, in a twinkling, twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed, man. Okay. That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. Whose glorious body? Speaking about you, how According to the workings whereby he is. He is able, he is like you, according to the working whereby he is, he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Okay. So our conversation is in heaven, man. All right. We are seeking the kingdom of Yahweh Bashmael Shah. And that's what is supposed to be on your mind, man. You're supposed to be meditating upon that, man. You're supposed to be a man meditating upon and the things that you would like to do there, even though we still have a battle here, you don't want to look too far off. All right, but it's going to be a reality soon, man. We ain't always going to be in Babylon, man. We ain't going to be low thinking, man. Okay. And when you're seeking the kingdom of your how about your mouth, Shah, you get out that low level thinking, man, how you're going to be a ruler. Okay, over the land that the Heavenly Father has set up, you know, set up over you. How you're going to have slaves, man. How you're going to have many wives. You're going to have many children. Okay, you're going to have rest, man. You're not going to have to wake up and go to work. You're not going to have to worry about your family members dying. You're not going to have to worry about waking up and working a job, man. These are This is reality, man. And the scriptures give us comfort, okay. Jude, Jude 1 and 3. Okay, Romans 15 verse 4 for the things are written a four time written for our learning, man. All right, we're almost up out of we're almost up out of this captivity, man. We're almost out of this this state of living, man. Okay? So we have to be meditating upon these things because it it, it is soon going to be a reality whether these people believe it or not, man. Okay? So you have to get out that 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 sheet or not sheep, but that low level thinking, man. You gotta be, you gotta level up in the spirit, man. Okay, and, and I'm writing right now, but let me also get Revelation chapter twenty one, uh, Revelation chapter twenty one verse one, and it says, "And I saw a new heaven and a new earth." Okay, and again, that's going back to what that new heaven and that new earth is speaking about the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. Okay, and it says, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the Most High out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Okay, and we are that bride being adorned for who? For who? who is our husband? Yahweh Shah, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men. And he shall dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and the Most High himself shall be with them, and be their power. And the Most High shall wipe away, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, neither shall there be any more pain for, for the former things are passed away you see so the former things are passed away meaning that hey the shit that we go out i mean the shit that we go through in this present life is going to pass away babylon the great is going to pass away man okay so hey that ushering of the kingdom is happening soon it's happened really before our eyes man all right so brothers a hey, meditate upon what you're going to do in the kingdom what job that you you not job but the, the thing that you're going to prefer to do man a hey, meditate upon uh, 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 how the scriptures speak about how hey, the, um how the streets you know shall be filled with gold roughly paraphrasing and hey, that's gonna happen all right because it's written in the scriptures there's many more things man all right meditate upon how you're gonna inflict terror on on these heathens man starting foremost with Esau Edom man all 
All right, because hey, Esau eat them, they're going to be slaves, man. And just like how we were slaves and they were over us, it's going to happen the same way, man. So as many things to hope for, man, as many things to, to, to you know, to, you know, there's many things for you to be excited for, man, even though we have to go through this light affliction right now. OK, but it says for this light affliction, working for a more a more exceeding. Um, um, man, what is that? Second Corinthians chapter four, verse 17. And it says for our light affliction, which is but for a moment working for us, a far more exceeding and internal way of glory, man. OK, so this is a light affliction, man. Even though we got to go through the things that which, you know, the heavenly father has set before us, we got to go through Jacob's trouble. We got to go through the iron temptation. But the heavenly father is going to watch over us, brothers, man. Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. OK. So even though we got to go through the things which are set before us, meditate upon the things after, man, because hey, if you are part of the elect, Lord willing, we be a part of the elect, hey, you know, after this captivity is it, man. It's our time to shine, man. OK, you know, it's our time to have them new bodies. It's, it, it's our time, you know, to enjoy our women, to enjoy our children. OK, not not having to wake up and work for another man, man. All right. Not having to sin again, again, having them new bodies. OK, a kingdom filled with righteousness, never going into captivity again. We're never going into captivity again. That's what the scriptures say. So as many things to be excited for, man. OK. Yeah, you know, as many things to be excited for, as many things, you know, that us brothers should be meditating upon, man. But what is it first begin? It says the kingdom of heaven, you know, it, it begins within you. OK. So as you seek the kingdom of Yahweh Shah, it really begins within you, man. Okay, so you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, I didn't want to make this lesson too long, man. But hey, it says the former things which are passed away, going back to Revelation the 21st chapter, man. Okay, so it says no more sorrow, no more crying. All right, and that's what we that's what we hoping for, man. That's what we're waiting for. All right. So through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shema Shah, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the next time, giving all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadaj, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone everywhere. Peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Baba Baba, Kwame Yahshua, Shalom.